Hello everyone and welcome back to a modded Minecraft tutorial. I am Fail and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the RF Tools Builder Builder as a quarry. So I've got three demonstrations set up here and first of all I'll show you how it works. Set up Builder, give it power, I'll tell you how much power it needs in a minute. Put a chest above it or some sort of export pipe or something like that. You're going to want to right click on it. Then first thing you want to do is set redstone mode to whatever you want. I usually go with off to activate. And then you take one of these shape cards. There are six of them. Three of them are quarries, which means that the block will be replaced with dirt. And three of them are clearing quarries, quarries which means that the block will re be replaced with air. There are three different types. There is the standards quarry and clearing quarry. Then there is the fortune quarry and the silk quarry. So silk is basically silk touch, fortune is fortune. I've done a little test there five times. I mined 27 blocks of diamond ore with a fortune quarry and the results were between 58 and 65 diamonds. Let's set one up. Uh, let's use the clearing fortune quarry, why not? So first you want to shift right click on the builder, Now, then, it'll, then in chat it will say now select the first corner. Select the corner, I'd recommend putting a torch there because some servers don't allow you to use clearing quarries. And when I say don't allow, they'll just treat it as a normal quarry. So they'll replace it with dirt instead of air so that you don't have massive holes in the server. So, uh, so when you select the second block, it will then say new settings copied to the shape card. Things to know is you can put away, you can hold other items and put away the clearing quarry in between selecting the first and second one. This isn't like some other mods where you have to have the item in the, your hand the entire time you're copying, you're selecting stuff. And you just right click that on there. It will say installed module, you can check that there. Next thing you want to do is click on this little GUI. And a little question mark, then you can decide, do you want to collect cobblestone? So if you've got too much cobble, delete it. So that means it will be mined, it just won't be put into the chest, it'll just be voided immediately. That's basically it, that's how that works. So then you just press start and you will click on the little, well, actually you click on stop ironically. And then it will start counting down the level that the builder is at. You can see it is now going quite fast. The speed in my experience depends on the charge of the quarry. If your quarry is not getting enough power, it will mine, it will just be very slow. In my experience, it you need to have it needs about two kilo FE to mine at that speed. Like a constant buffer of two kilo FE. While we're on the subject of FE, how much do you need? Quite a lot. So with one mega FE, which is the internal buffer that the builder has, you can only mine 550 blocks, and so you can visualize that that's all the blocks, all the cobblestone that's been turned to dirt. So that's a, that's 550 blocks approximately. Yeah, so basically that is that for the RF Tools Builder Builder and how to use it as a quarry. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, do consider liking the video. Subscribe, I wouldn't necessarily subscribe as I only do videos that I think are necessary on Minecraft. My main focus is Forza. Other than that, have a nice day and see you in another video, I hope. Bye.